could finally see the top of the mountain. Ten more minutes at the most and I'll be there, I told myself. Step after step, I continued my endless climbing. Just me, my soccer shorts and my bare skin under the July sun. I just wanted to talk face to face with God. The God of the universe and infinite, the God of life and death. I almost started to run. I needed to liberate that monster inside me, to let it go out just like you need to peace after four drinks on a Friday night. I wanted that God to see what he had done to me with my life. I had been thinking and writing for months what I wanted to tell him, but now it all went away. Don't give up, not now, not this time. And so I kept on, one step for my mom and one for her new boyfriend. One foot after the other and all the little pieces of my past came back to me like a waterfall. I saw my sister slapping my face, my dad in his coffin, the priest of my church calling me a faggot, the only failed test in 15 years of school, my girlfriend smashing the door on me, my boss firing me. And there I was. Without knowing it, I had reached the top with only the open sky above me. I prayed God to come out, to show himself to me. I even went to my knees. I shut my eyes closed and I pressed them tight for some seconds, minutes or hours, I cannot say. But when I opened them, Around me, only nature, silent nature, jolly nature in its greens and blues and yellows. I was ready to, to wide open, my eyes wet, my lungs on fire, in silence. I was praying, 